I'm gonna be doing makeup today. Not sure yet what we're doing. <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and moisturize my face. To moisturize my face, I'm using my Nivea um, face cream right here. I like to moisturize my face before I start my makeup. It helps with putting on the makeup, um, especially because I have dry skin, so I need it. But um, they do recommend that you moisturize <laughs> before makeup. All right, so next I'm gonna do my brows. Let's get right to that. I'm gonna start off using my Got To Be Glued Brow Gel, this one right here. And I'm just gonna comb this into my brow, into my brows like so. I think I might darken them a little bit. To darken them, I'm using my NYX Professional Lift and Snatch um, Brow Pencil. And now I'm going to clean them up using my Too Faced Multi Sculpting Concealer. Since I don't have a darker shade concealer, I mix some of my foundation with a little bit of my concealer and I'm going to apply it on the top of my brow. Now I'm going to apply some more concealer on my eyelids and blend that out. And I'm going to be blending it out with my wet sponge. Next, I'm gonna use my Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder to set it. And I just took some up on the sponge, dust it off on the back of my hand, and then pat it right on top of it. This way, I won't be putting too much product on. First, I'm gonna add some bronzer on my eyelid, like so. And this one is from Benefit Cosmetics. And I just lightly apply it on the outer corner and bring it all the way in on the side of my nose. Just like that. Very light. Next I'm going to be using my Jovia's Place palette. And this one is called the Festival. I'm going to go in with this pink in the middle. For some reason I want to apply the middle color first. <laughs> So that's what I'm doing here and I'm just using my finger to apply it and I'm not flipping anybody off I'm sorry if it looks like it it just feels much more comfortable using this finger to do it oh that pink is beautiful I love it I'm just gonna keep applying it until I feel like I got enough on there okay so we're liking this pink so far so I'm gonna go in with this shade right here it's like a um, burgundy or wine, something like that. And I'm just gonna apply it right here and blend it in into the pink like that. So to soften up the edges, I'm using this light brown. It looks yellow on camera, but it. It looks like a light brown to me when I look at it. So I'm just using it here to soften up the edges. So now guys, I'm going to go into this palette. And I'm going to be using this white one right here. Um, I'm going to use it on my inner corner. And after I apply the white there, I just blend it in like that. Before I put my lashes on, I'm going to use some concealer and clean up the sides where I just apply my, um, my eyeliner right here. Now 
Now I'm gonna go ahead and add my Garnier Green Lab Serum Cream onto my face and rub that in. Ooh, it's cold, y'all. Yeah. The foundation I'm gonna be using today is gonna be this one from L'Oreal and it's in the shade 510. I believe that's the shade right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply it onto the back of my hand. If I can figure out how to squeeze it out. <laughs> that wasn't so hard. I was just doing it wrong and making a mess. But anyway, let me just apply it from the back of my hand onto my face. I really, really love this foundation. Love this so much. This foundation is um is a drugstore foundation, but for some reason, I'm in love with it. I need to stock up on these drugstore foundation to tell you the truth because they be, they be busting. We're not giving them enough credit. They be, they be, the, they be something, man. Like, y'all, look at my skin. Look at that. Look at that. See what I'm talking about with this foundation here? Now, I'm gonna go in with concealer. While my concealer sits there, I'm gonna go in with some contour. Add right here a little bit and I'm gonna use the same part of the sponge that I use to blend my foundation so I'm gonna blend this out while the contour while the concealer sits there So now I'm going to blend my concealer out, starting under my eye. I know I'm doing my makeup different today than I usually do, but happens sometimes. Just so you guys know, I set the concealer afterwards. I just happened to lost that clip. Now I'm going to go over the areas where I applied my contour earlier and apply some bronzer. And when I get under my neck area, I like to just pull it down like that. I don't know, not all the time I feel like I need blush. And this one is from Il Maquillage. I'm gonna go ahead and add some eye light and I'm gonna be adding it on the tip of my nose, my nose bridge. Now I'm gonna go ahead and line my lip. We still don't know what lipstick we're wearing yet. <laughs> Now 
I'm gonna use this one by NYX. This one is called Atems. I'm not even gonna tell y'all how much I love this one. Ooh. And just apply it right here. After I apply the lipstick, I like to just smudge it out like this. Until I get my desired look. I'm going to go in with my concealer too. And I'm going to add a little bit right in the center. Here. See that guys? And now I love the way it looks. So I'm going to go ahead and set my face. To set it, I'm going to be using my rose water spray from Maven Beauty. No, I'm all done looking cute, but I feel like I could look cuter. So I'm going to go change into something different. Let my hair down, put some jewelry on and see the finished look. I'm back y'all and I feel so cute. Like everything is looking good. Earrings, makeup, outfit. Yeah, I feel cute. I am so in love with this pink eyeshadow look. I think it's really nice but i want to hear what you guys think as usual so definitely go ahead and leave them comments down below i'm gonna be posting the video for this hair that i'm wearing so definitely look out for it it's probably posted already because i usually post the hair then the makeup know what i'm saying so yeah definitely check it out if you like it because i love it I am so here for this look. I think it's gorgeous. These earrings are from Rainbow. I know you guys ask sometimes. And this shirt, I believe this is from Shein. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but I believe so because I did some shopping with Shein. Anyway, um, yeah, let's get into this pink makeup look because, oof. yeah i am so in love with it i think it came out really nice and like i said i was doing my makeup a little bit different today than i usually do it which you know sometimes i do that change it up a little bit because why not but um yeah i like the way it came out it came out looking really nice i almost didn't do blush but the blush looks so good on me right now for real if you guys like this video you already know leave a thumbs up leave a comment down below all that good stuff thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye